I do not know as much about human relationships as I thought. Hello everyone, welcome back to Broken Cowbell. I'm getting stuff started here in just a second. Uh, today we're going to be going on a little bit of a journey. It's going to be a journey that I've been wanting to go on for a very long time. I love Final Fantasy. Th this is like the token intro speech, right? I, I love Final Fantasy. I've always been a huge fan of Final Fantasy, but... I've never beaten or even played through most of the Final Fantasy games. And everyone is always saying, well, Rowan, Rowan, if 
Final Fantasy VII's the best, and someone else cuts in and says, no, 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 Final Fantasy IX is the best, no way, Final Fantasy X is the best, Final Fantasy VI is my favorite, it's like, people keep always cutting in and adding in new ideas and saying, well, this one's my favorite, this one's my favorite, this one's the best, objectively, this one's the best, subjectively, it's like... Final Fantasy 27 is the best one. Go back to eating your lunch. That's a damn sex joke. So, what I'm going to be doing today is playing Final Fantasy 7. Possibly for the first time. <laughs> um, I own Final Fantasy 7 on the Switch. I played through about an hour of Midgar and I went, huh, what an interesting game. And then I stopped playing it. Um, the only, the only Final Fantasy game in my life that I've ever beaten is Final Fantasy VIII, the game that everyone hates. I thought Final Fantasy VIII was great. I thought it was really engaging. It had an excellent story. I may yet play it on stream as part of this challenge and talk about why I like it so much. And you might be sitting there thinking, whoa, whoa, Rowan. <laughs> What's going to happen to Saga 3? What's going to happen to Final Fantasy XIV? Don't, don't panic. We're, I'm still going to be doing those. <laughs> I'm still going to be doing those things. But the new Final Fantasy XIV patch dropped just yesterday. And people are still really steamrolling the new Final Fantasy XIV content on Twitch right now. So not necessarily to avoid stepping on toes, um, but to just sort of avoid, like, overlap in that regard, I was like, well, I really wanted to do some Final Fantasy content today, but I don't want to play Final Fantasy XIV because all I've done is gotten to Heaven's Word, you know? I played through the game once, I restarted the game, I got to Heaven's Word, and, and now everyone's running new patch content, new patch content. I haven't even made it to Stormblood yet, you know? So, really interesting um, sort of idea popped into my head this morning. I was sitting there thinking, well, I mean, I've never played Final Fantasy VII, and I've been watching the Chip Cheesem LP of the Final Fantasy VII remake. Well, I don't have the remake, and I can't stream the remake. So I'll just stream the the original, <laughs> the the original. Not not my best. Like it, it's not the best thing that I've ever come up with for obvious reasons. So if you're wondering, come on, Rowan, why are we starting the stream? Well, it's because I'm like. Uh, so <clears throat> how do I phrase this? I'm running the PC version of Final Fantasy VII, and I can hear a lot of you groaning in the background and saying, "God damn it." Why? <laughs> Why are you running the PC version of Final Fantasy VII? It's terrible. It's terrible. Well, um, because it's the version I have access to. Uh, but I know better. I know that it's not a good enough representation of the original game. They added in like character mouths on their little, on their little, uh, their little field models. God damn it, Rowan, why are you running the PC version? That's true. That's true. I know. I'm sorry. But I know better. I, I know that they added stuff and that they took stuff out and that it's going to be weird and buggy and a problem. So what I've done is I've installed the 7th Heaven Mod Manager, and I'm just, real quick while we're here, installing a couple of very specific... Little mods, specifically a mouth texture remover. Is there an... Oh, God. See, here's the problem is now I have to figure out how this works. No mouths. Save. Okay, there we go. So, hopefully, with a little bit of elbow grease, and I, as you could tell, you know, I'm starting an hour and 15 minutes late. I'm clearly rushing this. But um, hopefully with a little bit of elbow grease, this will be close enough to the original version of the game where it will be playable or comparable. That's my goal. So my goal here with this challenge is to play Final Fantasy VII from start to finish 
With none, none of the bells and whistles. We're not going to speed up battles. We're not going to farm for shit. We're probably not going to do like post-game super boss content unless I really feel like it. And considering that I'm kind of lining myself up to play like five of these, probably not a good idea. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go all the way through Final Fantasy VII. I'm going to go through all the way through Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, and Final Fantasy X. I've already played Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy X, but I haven't played seven or nine, which are usually the ones that people say are the really, really good ones. There are people who really love Final Fantasy X, of course, but um, you're probably wondering, Rowan, why aren't you starting with Final Fantasy VI? And the answer is, I couldn't find an emulator version of it that ran well on my PC. So we're starting with seven. <laughs> I'll look into it later when I'm not rushing and going, oh, God, I'm already an hour late. What am I going to do? Uh, just throw the PC copy of Final Fantasy VII into a cart. Uh, just get it out there. Um, it's This is going to be weird. I've never played. I think I've played Final Fantasy VII on stream a couple of times, actually. But I've never gotten very far. So I'm sort of like cementing this as a challenge to myself to get the fuck through Final Fantasy VII, see what everyone talks about, see why people say it's the greatest fucking game of all time, and then maybe set myself up to play Final Fantasy VII Remake when the next when the, when that series is all finished and the Final Fantasy VII Remake games are all released and are all playable and I can go and play all of them and it'll be very nice. So... Let's see if I can't just get Final Fantasy seven. All right, let's launch the mod as an administrator. You know, th this is what we this is what we're just doing. Play. Final Fantasy VII is currently not installed in a, or is currently installed in a system folder. Yes, yeah, so let's copy the game files. So yeah, you can really see that it. <laughs> this was a sort of last minute preparation when I realized that people were still uh, working on. Holy shit! Ow! Ow! It's loud. Oh god! It's super loud. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Let me see if I can't get this to capture properly. Oh. There it is. Yo, we're here. Alright, so it is running. As far as I can tell, it's running in a 4-3 resolution but it's scaling to 1920 by 1080. So that's nice. We have mandatory black bars on the side of the screen. We're not allowed to play in a 4-3 resolution. That's illegal. I, I can't, I'm not even allowed to have like the static in the background. I'm just gonna let this play out for a second and also turn down the volume even more. So, Final Fantasy VII, what is my background with this game? Well, I owned a copy, I think. I'm pretty sure I owned a copy. I never played it. <laughs> so like, um, I believe I was born the year that this game came out. Um, let me look at, let me look that up actually. That might be a good thing to look up. Final Fantasy VII, Wikipedia page. Yep, 1997. So I was born less than a month after this game was released. Uh, so obviously I wasn't there to play it. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I wasn't like tapping in as as an infant to to play Final Fantasy VII and experience the joy and wonder that so many people experience with Final Fantasy VII. Um, but now, 23 years later. 
I'm going to basically play it for the first time. And we're going to see how that works out. Oh, I forgot to tell... I forgot to tell the Discord that I was playing this today. You'll have to give me just a second. And I'm also going to turn down the game even fucking more, because it's still a little bit loud, at least on my end. All right, let's skip it. So we, our options are just new game and continue, so okay. All right, classic classic RPG controls on the, or rather classic PlayStation 1 controls. The B button is yes and the A button is no. <laughs> just to make it really confusing on all of us. So basically, if I remember correctly, I have played this game as far as the first, I don't know if it's the first, uh, I've played it so far as the motorcycle chase in Midgar. That's as far as I've ever gotten in Final Fantasy VII, never further, not even one step further. You can really see that crunchy FMV compression. I was gonna install an HD FMV mod, but um, that would have taken another hour to download. <laughs> so I didn't. Uh, I don't think I can. I might be able to later, but not yet. I might do that for tomorrow. I will say my favorite part of Final Fantasy VII is definitely uh, the music, as far as I've played. It is a lovely soundtrack. Bum, bum. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Oh, oh, okay. There's a run button. There's a run button. <laughs> I don't just run on my own. There, I have to use the button for it. All right, so here we are. It's Final Fantasy VII, baby. We're playing it. We're playing the game. An hour and a half late, but we're playing the game. Now, I'm, I'm trying to, how do I phrase this? I'm kind of trying to give myself like the, the classic Final Fantasy VII experience. So I'm probably gonna stay quiet for a lot of the stream, just like popping in and giving little pieces of commentary. I will say, I'm not sure I like, like this is me holding down and this is me holding up. I'm not sure I like how they're maneuvering the, the way Cloud moves when the camera is tilted. Oh, 
I want to say that the game is the right volume, but I'm honestly not sure. One second. I need to adjust my headphones. It, my hair is doing that thing again today where it's getting stuck in my headphones. I don't know why. Some days I put on my headphones and my hair is fine. And it doesn't do anything. Nothing, nothing happens. My hair is completely okay. And then other days I sit down and I put on my headphones and it's like I've put myself in curling irons for four hours. It's not good. Hi, Wedge. Wedge? Wait, is the talk button not? Let's, let's go to the, oh God. Oh God. Config menu. Recommended. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh geez. Okay. God damn it. There we go. I've swapped the A and the B buttons. Menu. Switch. Page up, page down. What's button five and six? Oh God, oh, that was scary. Changing the cancel button changed how the button configuration works. So that was, that was very, very odd. Can I not talk to, to Wedge here? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? It was in Soldier, Jesse, but he quit and he's with us now. I didn't catch your name. Uh, so because we're going for the classic original game experience, no funny names. I love a funny name or two, but but no, we're going we're going with default names. Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm. I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell you all do? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target's the North Mako reactor. We'll meet in the bridge in front of it. Thanks, Barrett. I appreciate your input. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. All right, Barrett, good. Done and done. Press the directional buttons while pressing cancel to run. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh. All right, this is a very clean like FM FMV transition. That was surprisingly slick. Normally, when you play games like this, um, like because of how everything's compressed, I'm gonna have to turn down the game volume again. This is really frustrating. There. But it was very loud. It's very loud. I can like barely hear myself talk over it sometimes. Maybe it's just a stream volume thing. But I'm looking at I'm looking at my audio and how the audio is showing up on the on the audio tracker and I'm like that's not the same. My voice is not significantly louder than this audio. What the fuck? Oh, maybe I can go talk to Biggs now. Oh, hey, the little eyeball guys. Warning, warning, enemy sighted. Oh, right, I can change the... I should be able to change the background color of the windows. I want to change it to something that's not blue. I like blue, it's a good color. Um, but if I have to look on at neon blue backgrounds for an entire video game, that's going to be an issue on my eyes. So let's go down to config. Window color, here we go. So we can have it be like purple. Maybe a nice like really dark purple.
And then let's just have everything else. There we go. Oh god, that's almost worse to look at. Hold on. Let's make it a brighter purple. A little bit better. There we go. Now I can look at the screen without my eyes bleeding. But let's go talk to Wedge. Hello, Wedge. I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez, we're really gonna blow this huge furnace up? This will be something to see. Another random encounter. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. Alright, boss. Boop. Code deciphered. It's a button. <laughs> it is... It is a button. Think of how many people of our... Oh, that is not that sentence. Think of how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Code deciphered. Received a phoenix down. I'm gonna drink some water. Push that button over there. Alright, alright, jeez. Switch on. The longer I play... The, the longer I play Final Fantasy VII, the more I really like the weird sort of chunky uh, overworld sprites. They're, they're not sprites, but you know what I mean. The overworld models, like the weird Lego people. Um, don't get me wrong, I really like the art direction that they go in in the later games, especially Final Fantasy uh, VIII and X. But... You know, sometimes you just want to go back to your roots and play a game where for 80% of the time, you're just a weird little Lego person. I think it's like just the right blend of like simplicity with visual style. I forgot to read Barrett's line. <laughs> it's not my problem. Let's just pretend Barrett was saying that the whole time. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the robo guards come. <clears throat> it's interesting, because it's like, it's really clear that. Because the previous game in the series for this was Final Fantasy VI, which had sprites. So it's really clear that they wanted to use these 3D models because it gave them, like, this. A wider fidelity, what's the word? I think wider fidelity is right, a wider fidelity of like character movement. Back attack. Oh. And yeah, sure, a lot of the animations are choppy and weird, but like, you know, these were really early 
3D models, and they look pretty nice, even on modern hardware. Like, if you sort of close your eyes and pretend that it wasn't a tech limitation and that it was a stylistic choice, like, I can imagine, I could have, I could really imagine somebody making, because this isn't something you see often now, you know, like, what's the word? Uh, like, when people make indie games, they tend to sort of, I'm just going to aim cloud of the camera while I talk about this. A lot of times people focus on like retro art styles, but the, when they say a retro art style, they mean pixel art, which is fair. You know, the industry worked with pixel art for a very, very long time. There's games that are absolutely fucking gorgeous with pixel art, like Romancing Saga 3, Chrono Triggers, great examples, like incredible, incredible pixel art. Even games with like a really simple style, like for instance, Saga 2 uh, on the original Game Boy was still this sort of like clean, crisp uh, sprite work. I wish more people would say, we're making a game with retro graphics and then make like a Final Fantasy VII, you know? <laughs> like when people say retro graphics, they don't mean PS1 era 3D, they mean PS1 era 2D. And it's, it's really interesting to sort of think about um, how that works. Push OK in front of a ladder to grab onto it. Then use the directional button to climb up and down. Hop. Did they increase the speed of the ladders? I remember it being really slow. Push OK in front of it. Okay, yeah. Thanks for the tutorial, Jesse. Oh, we didn't need to grab onto that one. We just walk on it. It, it is going to be a, a task to remember to hold down the B button to run for a hot minute. Because I've been playing a lot of modern games where you just auto run. I'm not used to having to hold down the run button. I wonder if there's a way to like invert it. I should, I should probably save. Access the menu and select save to save your game. This is a weird save selection. So we have 30 save slots, I guess is what this means. Like each save block has three saves in it. Maybe, possibly, I have no idea. Whoa. Oh, for, I should probably be playing this with the D-pad now that I think about it. Let's use Bolt on the robot. Can I just say, I hate the way Cloud puts away his sword when he's about to use magic. He like twirls it a few times. It's very strange. Whoa, camera work. I think it's also interesting. I keep saying the word interesting. Whenever I talk like this, I'm always like, you know what's interesting? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, you know what's cool? <laughs> that uh, Maybe interesting in this case was the right word, but um, it's really fun to look at all of the different... Uh, What's the word? The changes that have happened with this game because of the resolution switch. Um, some things are really clearly better. Like, um, the 3D models, for instance, really, really benefit from being at a high sort of graphical fidelity. Because you get to see, even the simpler models, you get to see a lot more of them. What is this? Oh, it's Materia. I should probably equip it. Does Barrett have an option? Wait. Wait, can I not equip it yet?
Hmm. I don't think I can. Oh, here we are. Wow, that was fast. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Ooh. Oh, that's a horrible noise. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? There was a horrible tinnitus, like, tinnitus noise just, like, playing in my ears for, like, a full ten seconds. What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. Boop. Heads up, here it comes. Here what comes? Oh, this guy. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion on Cloud real quick. 94 damage isn't bad, I don't think. Let's see what sort of damage basic attacks do. 41, yeah, it's definitely better to use Bolt. I'm gonna have to set it to Sure, let's let's big shot. Okay, so that does about as much as a bolt does. That's nice. I am going to have to to set it to remember the cursor. Barrett, be careful. Attack while it's tails up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. I believe that that's the mistranslation, right? You're supposed to not attack while its tail is up. Oh, jeez. Nice chunky 125 damage. Search scope. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, I guess I should be saying it more mopey. Come on, 10 minutes to get out of here. 10 minutes to, to detonation, oh gosh. Okay, well wait, hold on. Didn't we just get a gun for Barrett? Yes, we did. There's no time to save. Oh, the, the gun on his arm actually changed. 
that's pretty cool. I didn't notice that the last time I played. Or maybe I did, and I'm just re-noticing it. But yeah, the gun on his arm actually like changes, and I'm assuming everyone's weapons will will change in battle. Well, that's pretty neat. Like, obviously, that's like a standard feature nowadays, but like, holy shit. I would, I would have thought that's not something that got introduced until, like, Final Fantasy VIII. What's going on, Jesse? You alright? My leg got stuck. Thanks. She just jumps over us. Uh, let me in. Let me on! I was about to say, we're probably gonna get hit a battle here in a second. What the hell are those? I guess they're like guns? Definitely guns. I'm just sort of assuming they're robots. Okay. Oh, camera change. Holy shit. That should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Now everyone get back. I l it makes such an old school explosion noise, but they clearly put so much work into the actual fire. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous with Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. H hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. Another cutscene. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> They're not even running anywhere. They're just like bumping into her for no reason. Excuse me. What happened? You'd better get out of here. Really? I don't know what's going on, but all right. Look at how crisp that box looks. But yeah, what, what I was saying about the resolution is, the character models looking pretty nice. You know, like, they're chunky, they're blocky, they're old. But like, in the grand scheme of things, not terribly bad looking. You know, like, for what they are, they look fine. They're just shaded polygons. But the backgrounds, I would say that it's weird. 
because like the foreground and background elements, the 2D animated backgrounds that JRPGs were really known for at the time, I think that they age pretty poorly when they're scaled up like this. And it's not, how do I phrase this? Not even in like a bad way. Um, like it's, it's that you can sort of tell where all the pixels are. Cause on a CRT TV, everything's like a little bit fuzzy, you know? So it's way, it, it's way more straightforward to blend these sort of crunchy 3D models that can be scaled up to a really high fidelity with these very clean 2D pixel art backgrounds. Or I guess they're not necessarily pixel art, but they're like pre-rendered pixelated images that really don't scale up in the same way that the models do. Um, and there's lots of ways that people have sort of tried to fix it where it's like, oh, hey, you know, we have we have this here where we can upscale all the backgrounds and we can make them depixelated and we can put a fi filter over the whole kit and caboodle. But really, I think that the only solution, at least in my mind, for this sort of disparity between the models and the backgrounds is to run it at the original resolution or like a sure an upscaled version of the original resolution but have the game actually render at that standard like 480p playstation 1 resolution um because then the backgrounds and the character models mesh really well together and in other games you don't necessarily get this problem like i would say final fantasy 8 still has this issue but something about it it, it, it scales better. It's because sometimes they use 3D backgrounds. So it's all it's all sort of up in the air. Um, this game, I think, suffered a little when it got upscaled because the characters don't really feel like they fit in this world. You know what I mean? And that's something that that I think has been lost with time is the character model's ability to feel cohesive with this world where you could seamlessly transfer to an FMV and not have it look that different. I think there's something to be said for that. It's one of the reasons that when I play Chrono Cross, I like to play Chrono Cross at the original resolution. Just what the hell is going on around here? A potion. Received potion. Wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. Also, there's a lot of jitter to the character models that doesn't happen in, in low resolutions because you can't see it. Hey, you there. Shinra soldiers. Uh, fight them later. Halt. Uh, later. It's completely surrounded. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. I, I need to stop to, to change how I voice Cloud. But see, like, that transition to the FMV would have been so much cleaner at a lower resolution. Maybe I'll look into being able to play this game at a, at a, at a low upscaled resolution. Because um, that's the big change. That That's the big change between this and the original. It is just that it's running on a modern PC. Cloud never came. Cloud, do you think he was killed? No way. Cloud. FBI, open up. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Bonk. 
Huh, if y'all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Barrett, what about our money? Bonk. Uh, nothing, sorry. <sighs> Cloud! <laughs> sorry about the delayed reaction. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene. Just what I always do. Fuck! Having everyone worried like that. You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Shrug. Huh. You were worried about me? There we go. A little bit more smug. A little bit, little bit more... A little bit more soft. It's coming out of your share, hotshot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. <laughs> Cloud, we'll do even better next time. Hop. Careful, I'll shut this for you. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. Scrub, scrub. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back at the reactor. Oh, I'm, I'm in control. I'm in control! Fuck you guys, I'm going home. Let me out. Let me out. Fine, I'll, I'll hop back. Last train out of Sector 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, the train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Is there some- there's something wrong with Biggs' face. He's like... A mouth pops in for a second, like he's twitching. He's like the Joker. What the fuck is that? Stop acting like a damn kid! Sit down and shut up! Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, don't bother the other passengers. Sorry, sorry? This train isn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that'll change by tomorrow. I'm just gonna keep twitching, leaning against the wall. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too. Hey Cloud, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together, I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff, bombs and monitors, you know, the flashy kind. Okay, it's about to start. This is actually a really cool visual. This is a complete model of the city Midgar. It's about a 1 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other support pillars built in each section. Psst. The number one reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with energy. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we just refer to them by the numbers. That's just how things turned out. Whew, look what's next. Look! This is the route that the train is on. The main route, or the route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right about now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train, and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Does Cloud have a fake ID? Speak of the devil. That light means we're in the ID security check area. Oh, epilepsy warning, by the by. I should have said that earlier. We're, we're, playing, we're playing a very old game. Not that it matters anymore, because modern games still are built around giving people epilepsy, apparently. Shoutouts to Cyberpunk 2077. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. Look, 
You can see the surface now. The city don't have no day or night. That plate weren't there, we could see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? Never expected to hear that out of someone like you. You just full of surprises. The upper world. A city on a plate. It's cause of that fucking pizza the people underneath are suffering so much. And the city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the Earth's energy. Or the planet's energy. I guess it's not the Earth. It's, pro it's probably called something different. Then why doesn't everyone just move on to the plate? Dunno. Probably because they ain't got no money, Cloud. Or maybe. Because they love their land. No matter how polluted it gets. I know. No one lives in the slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. Oh, that is really sour orange juice. Yo, get over here, all ya. Oh, I'm supposed to physically go over there. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. I love that... Something I really like in the, in the remake is that they added the little bit about the explosion being way bigger than it was actually supposed to be. Like, I don't think Barrett really meant to destroy a huge chunk of the city. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem like something he'd do, so they just kind of cut it out. Oh yeah, I get to go up here and talk to this guy. Whoa! Hey now, whoops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out, jeez. Huh? Came to see it too, huh? There was a bombing up top. This pillar came down. Everyone in the slums is fucked. Well, there's no, <laughs> there's no point. I misread that line, but I do like that. There's no point in worrying about it. Hey, check it out. It's huge, ain't it? Oh, it's gonna show me the. It's gonna like pan up. What an odd cup of orange juice. Hey, you know, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place, but you can come here whenever you want. See you, bro. I like that guy. Yo, Cloud, get over here now. Okay, okay, geez. Oh, can't go that way. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say there was a terrorist explosion up above, and this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Explosions, explosions. Oh man, avalanche is so cool. <laughs> Little Timmy, we did just murder a whole bunch of people. Oh, we get to talk to these hoodlums. Aw, oh, jeez, I'm blitzed. I just love to have big cocktails, but they sure do creep up on you. Ah, oh, fuck. 
What the hell's wrong tonight? Thought that long blackout was strange. Sam Mako reactor was destroyed up top. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself. And all of a sudden, I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? Okay, go on ahead. Papa! Hi, Tifa. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? <laughs> Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. It's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Tifa. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Hi, Marlene. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems like she's a little shy. Well, that's okay. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Hick. Why don't you have one, too? Mm, no. What? You telling me you're too good to drink? Don't act big-headed just because you were in Soldier. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now, I'm all roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good foods and drinks that make this shop famous. Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. I guess we're supposed to try to leave. There we go. Papa, welcome home. <laughs> you all right, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. I kind of like that Barrett's just like a huge dad. Talk to Tifa. Sit down. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. <laughs> just a minute. I'll make one for you. That is not what making a drink sounds like. It sounds like she set off a bunch of mouse traps. Y you know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett, okay? Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? <laughs> no reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Yo, Cloud, there's something I wanted to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier finding us today? None, I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anything from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now, okay? Don't go thinking you were bad just because you was in Soldier. Soldier. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't you forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. <laughs> Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. <sighs> Shut up. I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. Don't get me wrong, I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter either. I'm just gonna leave like a bitch. Listen Cloud, I'm asking you myself. Please join us. Ugh. Sorry Tifa. 
Gotta drink more of this weird orange juice. The planet is dying, Cloud. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. <laughs> so let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So? You're really leaving. I'm just gonna walk out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? Sorry. <laughs> you forgot your promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember? Cloud, come on. It was seven years ago. That is a really pretty background. Look, the well. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, back then. I thought you would never come, and it was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. I like her dress, it's nice. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Come this spring, I I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm, I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I love its little ponytail. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth. The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. <laughs> Huh? If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous and I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, okay? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero's gonna come rescue me. I want to experience that at least once, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cloud, stop asking what? Come on, promise me. Okay, I promise. <gasps> they promised on a shooting star. That means it's fate. You remember now, don't you? Our promise. I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep it. <laughs> but you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on. You've got to at least keep your promise, okay? <laughs> Barrett climbing out of the fucking hole like King Kong will never not be funny to me. Wait a second, big time Soldier. Reaches into boobs. A promise is a promise. Here. Received Barrett's stash. 1,500 gil. <laughs> this is my pay. Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay. It's okay. We're really hurting for help, right? Uh, that money's from Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. What a sweet little scene. <laughs> I slept there. What's... Why? Why? Why would you just put a cushion down or something?
Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Barrett's snoring kept me up, or next to you, who wouldn't? I think Barrett's snoring kept me up. <laughs> Keep it down, they'll hear you. Barrett's always edgy before an operation. I'm going this time. Marlene's really good at running that bar. <laughs> Holy shit. Marlene, how did you learn how to do that? You're like five. Marlene? Mar Marlene? Marlene? Are you not gonna talk to me? Marlene is not going to talk to me. She's too busy making alcohol. <laughs> Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I don't really know how to use materials. I'll give you that material we found, so just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. Oh wait, no, I know how to do this. No! I'll explain... Oh. Oh, I could just like hold the button down. Holy shit, this is a long tutorial. Ah oh, shit, what's this? It wasn't that tough crap. I don't get it. We just handle the material cloud. Material system. Access the menu and select material to equip it. Cloud, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you, so don't forget. Marlene, you watch over the store while we're gone. All right, good luck. Poor Marlene. Oh, we have like actual party members and shit now. Hooray! Wrong menu. Wait, hold on. Okay, strength and magic. High strength, low magic. Low strength, high magic. So I'm actually going to have Tifa have the healing spell. Just so it's a little bit more... Well, they should both have damage spells. Now that I say that. There. That'll have to do for now. Okay, the weapon shop upstairs. Upstairs where? Upstairs in this building? Oh no. Oh, people are just like running away. Hey, ma'am. 
I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just me and my wife here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. That's sad. We want him to be happy and do other things while he's young, but we can't help but worry about him. I guess we always will. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? Searching for hidden goodies. I'm not finding anything, though. So wait, wait, where's the weapon store? I'm very confused. They said it was the weapon store upstairs, but there's no upstairs part. So, what? When it comes down to it, I'm gutless. I'm still just a no good kid. So wait, what's this? Uh, another slow day. This keeps up. This store's going under. Can't sell any really good medicine in a slum like this. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell, we buy. Oh! We can buy fire magic. <gasps> fire magic. And then we can give it to Barrett. And then we'll have complete coverage of all three elements that we have access to. Whoa, that's a lot. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, what's in here? Oh, this does have an upstairs part. Hey, hey, wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Oh, no. Grenade. Grenade. I'll take three. Well, Barrett's kind of low magic, so I don't want to... Right. Yeah, his magic is 16. I guess that's about the same as Tifa. If I get some extra money, I might go back and... Oh, hold on. The fuck is that? Burf, burf. This is the beginner's hall. You say you're a beginner, but your eyes say you're not. Don't mess with me. I used to be in soldier. I'll tell you how much I know, and for free, too. What do you want to know? Oh, gosh. No, I think I can figure this out on my own. I'll be okay. Gotta hang in there, your limit gauge is just starting to build. Okay, now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. Oh my god. Great. That child is dead. That, that, oh my god. Hey soldier, tell us about battles, we'll even pay you. Oh, it's like macho guys. Not hard up enough to take money from guys like you, but I'll rap for a while. What do you want to know? No, no, I know. I know. I know how to do stuff, don't you worry. Who's this lovely lady? This is the fabled save point. At a save point, you can, you can use a tent or, save, or select save. You can also do something else there, but right now it's a secret. Even if you are wiped out, you'll be, if you're saved, you can restart from that point. That way you don't have to worry about when you've been wiped out. <laughs> These sentences are weird. This is jumping ahead a little bit, but when you leave Midgar, 
you get to use world map. You can save anywhere you like. Remember that. Dramatic. That should be all you need to know about the save point. I'll probably see you again somewhere down the road. Take care. I'm a treasure chest. <laughs> Beginners, make sure to keep an eye out for me. That was very strange. Oh, there was a materia. No. Materia. Received all materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. Received ether. That man is now trapped behind the treasure chest. So wait, what is the all materia? All. All effects on paired man. Oh, I got it. Yo, okay, now hold on. We could restore all. You know what I mean? So we could have full party heals. But not from Cloud. I want to do that on Tifa. So. Oh no, wait, Tifa doesn't. Oh, shit. Okay, sure. You know what? Barrett will have to do it with you. So restore all. And then Tifa's going to have ice. Cloud is gonna have lightning and fire. That's cool. I hope I get more of those. Bonk. This is a slum, so don't think you can stay for free. What are you gonna do? Doesn't just seeing the bed make you sleepy? 10 gil, that's a lot, kid. Tough guy, huh? You better sleep when you can. You better save when you can. That's a trick to being tough. Remember that, old dude. This game is really charming writing. Someone just left, like, a gun on the bed. There's, like, a weird, like, Matryoshka knockoff here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So, 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 they said the weapon guy upstairs has something to give you. And then I went and talked to him and he didn't give me anything. Am I just blind? Like, I feel like I'm missing something. This happened the first time I played this game too. When, is it the weapon guy upstairs? I've already I've already been upstairs. What a strange thing. Oh. There's nothing past the sign. Let's go to the medicine store and see what we can sell. Oh, we don't have enough. Well, that's okay. That's fine. I'm weird when it comes to JRPGs. I like to over-prepare on all my characters and always have them equip, like, the best stuff. Ah, uh, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Meanwhile, a girl is bugging the fuck out two feet away. The guy from before is gone. Save. Halt, no one is allowed to pass. You know, I got some tickets to Loveless. Do you want to go? Oh, I'm not reading that. Cloud, are you really concerned for me? Hell no. But in case you forgot, we're in the middle of a slum. It could be anywhere around, so stay on your guard. Right, you mean the avalanche? Don't you worry. Soldier's been added to the police force. 90s RPG translations! Stop putting slurs in your games! It's fucked up. No, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes! 
what? Incredible. I'm just gonna get on the train. This is weird. <laughs> this is all very strange. Yo. This ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck. Mm. You say something. <laughs> I love that image of Barrett, like, looking around the train car. Now look at that. It got all empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It, it's empty because of guys like you. Bonk. Y yikes You've seen the news, right? Avalanche says there'll be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. You work for Shinra? I, I won't give in to violence. <laughs> Barrett oh, God damn it, you lucky piece of shit. So what are we gonna do now? Ugh, the hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. It's like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. Achoo! Oh, that was a bad sneeze. I feel like I just imploded my sinuses. Cloud, you were at the briefing. It's the fifth reactor. Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. All right, I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgar Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45 means we've only got three more minutes to the ID check. All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Oh, oh. Excuse me. I'm just taking a stretch break. Remember to always take a stretch break when you're feeling, when you're feeling like your bones are tired. Always stretch. <clears throat> Ba -ba 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 -ba. Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. Yeah, it looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come on, get a little closer. Okay. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Wait, what's going on? 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 Fuck. Someone blew. Unidentified passengers located in car one. Preparing for lockdown. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Car one locked down, upgrading to level two warning. Hurry! They're locking the door, sir. Just run. Car two locked down, upgrading to warning level three. All right, are we clear? Not yet, they're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry, if we move the train car by car, we might get past it. Unidentified passengers moved in front of train, currently tracking location. Get out of the Give me my shit back. I'm stuck! Okay. Car four locked down. <laughs> I like this guy in the top hat. 
All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're gonna dive out of here. <laughs> Tifa. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, there, there we go. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why did you come along anyway? Because... Hey, you two. There's no time for that right now. We gotta get off this damn train. Yeah, I made up my mind. Watch closely. I'm gonna jump. Huh. You don't care if I go first? A leader always stays to the end. Don't worry about me. Just go. Yo, don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Okay, okay. Later, you take care of the rest. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Don't let your guard down till we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! The reactor's just down the tunnel. Is there a way to change what character's in front? I don't think there is. Wait, why, can, why can't I go this way? Whoa! Well, okay. That startled me. Da -na -na -na. Let's just have everyone attack. Oh my god. Assuming Silk is what made us go really slow in the turn order. Or not the turn order, but like the, the time charge system. The ATB. It's making our ATB shitty. That's what I meant. Was I supposed to go this way? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go the other way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What have I done? Oh my god, there's like missiles. What are these? <laughs> I love the way things explode in this game. They just fly everywhere. Stop blowing up Tifa. This can't be right. This this can't be right. <laughs> oh no. It's just the same. It's like we're in Lost Woods. It's like we're in Lost Woods. No. How far away even is this thing? Alright, Barrett. Let's try Cure All. Let's see if it works. I think it did, because it targeted the whole party. I didn't have to, like, select who it, who it targeted. <laughs> Barrett casts magic in a very strange way.
Tifa's got her limit break. Some of these models are actually pretty well detailed. Like you can see the individual like parts of Tifa's strap. Oh my god. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. That's one damn tiny hole. You tell me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Let's just go in. Damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. It's okay, everyone can fit into Cloud's pants and then Cloud can do it. Oh, hey, a thing. It's an ether. Thanks. Oh, hey! Hi, Wedge! Oh. Bye, Wedge. But da na 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 Can I not use her magic? Or not use her limit? Or do I have to? I guess limit just replaces attack. Which is kind of sad. Because I kind of, I want to save, I want to save my magic and my limit for boss fights, you know? What the fuck was that? I think I hit buttons too fast, and I didn't, like, understand what I was doing. We got levels, baby. Hey, Wedge. Cloud, this way. The reactor's up this ladder. Okay. There's probably secret stuff to find, but I don't want to. I want to play the game in a sort of continuous, story-driven manner. What's up? Uh, I'm sorry. The ID scan on the train was probably my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. It's okay, Jesse. You didn't do anything wrong. That's not the right way. This is. <laughs> Hi, Cloud. Wait. 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 What? So that was that that wasn't the way to go. I was supposed to go this way? Oh, hey, what do you know? I was supposed to go this way. It's like a save point over here and everything. Oh, hey, we're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Got it. Or I could get into a bunch of fights. Maybe you want me to get into a bunch of fights. Do you want me to get into a bunch of fights? Because that's what's happening. I'm really tempted to play 14, even though I know it's going to be a slow day on the stream today. And I didn't want to do a bunch of big, important 14 stuff. Let's see. Received a tent. Oh, I get to... Oh, you get to watch Biggs actually, like, climb up the ladder and leave. That's kind of cool. We're not in too bad shape. 
you know. It's not like we're low on MP or anything. It, we're not in like the ideal full everything state. But even if we run into a boss, I think we're gonna be all right. Okay. <laughs> ba -da -na -na -na. Looks like these guys Tifa hits them pretty hard. Is it just me or is Tifa not? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was not a small amount of money. Ooh, it's a slide. Wee. Okay, that would be fucking terrifying to do in real life. Are you kidding me? That's horrifying. Okay, wait. So that's the way we gotta go, but if we go up this way, what if there's treasure? Because this is like the way we're gonna have to go before, or after, right? If I just go in the elevator. Watch this be nothing. Watch this be a huge waste of time. Oh, it wasn't a huge waste of time. Ba -na -na -na. I really should have invested in lightning all. Nice crit. Like, there's a lot of stuff in this game that's actually, like, weirdly detailed. Like, you can see the bullet casings fall off of people's guns. It's like... For PlayStation 1 graphics, this is fucking snazzy. This is snazzy graphics. At the start of the next fight, I'll have Barret use heal, or cure, or restore all. That's what it's actually called. Received an ether. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't very much. And now we're in a fight with a bunch of dogs. Yeah, cure all, please. What is Barrett's casting animation? It's like he's bowling. Does Barrett even know how to go bowling? That's odd. Rotating the stick makes makes certain dialog boxes like go. That's not right. That shouldn't be that at all. Hmm. Da -na 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 -na. 
But da -na -na -na. Robot dudes. I should have just used Bolt, but it's fine. There's gonna be more opportunities to use Limit Breaks later. Let's just use a tent, since we're basically already there. Then we can save. Oh, more tinnitus. Oh, it's our first flashback. Oh, it's with Tifa and her weird cowboy hat. That's right. Papa. S Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, Mako Reactor Shinra. I hate them all! Damn it, man. Get a hold of yourself. You all right, Cloud? T Tifa. Hmm? No, forget it. Come on, let let's just hurry. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I'm stretching. Stretch break number two. Remember to always stretch. Let's stretch. Everyone get up and stretch. Come on. Let's do it. Stretch your arms, legs, and your torso. Okay. It is so often that I just forget to stretch, and then like four hours will pass, and I'll be sitting there like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away from that one battle so that we have our sort of like clean save points. Wait. Did we actually set the bomb? Did I forget to set the bomb? Bomb? Uh oh. I think I didn't forget. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a little bit worried about the fact that there's no timer, so I'm, I'm more than a little concerned that we're just going to walk away and then it, nothing will happen. <laughs> No, get off the ladder, Cloud. Come on. Oh, oh god. We leave in this direction, right? Okay, thank goodness. Jesse said we all have to push the button at once. No good, let's try it again. Okay, I just hit the button at the wrong time. God damn it, guys. That wasn't good enough? That has to be good, all right. I'm just real quick gonna switch to lightning all. Since I don't think we need a uh, restore all right now, we haven't really hit anything that deals a bunch of damage to the whole party all at once. I'm assuming later that's gonna be really helpful. Right now, probably less. <laughs> probably a bit less important. And I know for a fact that we're gonna have like machines and shit coming up as a boss fight, so... Uh-oh. Shinra soldiers? What the hell is going on here? It's a trap. Pr president Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm... So you all must be. What was it? Avalanche! And don't you forget it. So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see? Oh, it's you. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor. What was your name? Cloud? Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name, now can I? Unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. 
Sephiroth. Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves you all right. <sighs> it's such a waste of good fireworks just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra are the vermin for killing the planet. Because that'd make you king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man. So if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. Dinner? Don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. What's that noise? The hell is that? Woo! Meet Airbuster, a techno soldier. Our weapons development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Fun little fact, uh... This boss has, like, directional audio. <laughs> Techno Soldier? I love this helicopter. It's such an interesting, weird, like, little model. I would love to download all of, like, the Final Fantasy VII models and, like, really look at them. Because they're, they're so weird and cool. Now then, if you'll excuse me. Wait, President... Also, the way that the helicopter picks him up is very silly. Yo, Cloud, we gotta do something about him. Help, Cloud. This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust him up. Nice. Wait, what? Okay, so don't attack him from behind. It is basically what we have to do. I think. I think. Or he could just turn around in the middle of an attack animation and then make it impossible for me to, <laughs> to not attack from behind. Ow, holy shit. Wait, it seems like his counterattack isn't that strong and his back is pretty weak to damage. Big shot, go! Yeah. Like, we get a counter attack, but. Ow. Let's just braver his ass. Oh no, he's gonna big bomber. All of a sudden, I'm thinking I should have. I should have done that thing where I did the full party heal ability. 643! Oh yeah, no wonder! <laughs> no wonder that's gonna end the fight, holy shit. 643? Where did the hell did that come from? We got a bangle. Oh shit. It's gonna blow. We have to get out of here, Tifa. Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be alright? I'll be strong. Mm -mm. You worry about yourselves. I I'm alright, but take care of Tifa. Alright. Sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay, hold on. Cloud, no! I can't believe Cloud's fucking dead. 
Wee. <laughs> it, the Lego people is is making it funny. It's not funny. It's serious. You all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you get up? What do you mean by back then? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. How about that? Take it slow now. Little by little. I know. Hey, who are you? You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. I came crashing down? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're pretty lucky. The fl flower bed? Is, is this yours? Ugh. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's alright. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I love it here. Oh, I can move. I can move! So, we meet again. Don't you remember me? I remember. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. You didn't buy any flowers from me, though. Well, that's okay. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, I've got a few. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing, huh? Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, no, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's, after all. <laughs> Aerith, that is a rock. <laughs> that is a rock that you stuck to your sword with duct tape saying I feel like talking do you feel up for it after all here we are meeting again I don't mind oh wait here I've got to check my flowers okay it'll just be a minute Just a little longer. Oh! <laughs> now that you mention it. We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... Eris. I'm going to replace this with Aerith. If I remember correctly. Right? Is that right? Because they changed her name later. Alternatively known with the first name, Eris. Her official name is Aerith Gainsborough. Yes, okay. So her name should be Aerith. I have spelled it correctly. I'm Aerith, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. Uh-oh. Me? I, I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, I, I do whatever's needed. 
<laughs> What's so funny? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Sorry, I just... Oh. Cloud. Don't let it get to you. Hey? Don't mind me. Okay, I won't. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Someone's messaging me on Discord. The nerve of it all. The nerve of it all. Sorry, we gotta plan out how to order dinner. <laughs> then, get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay then, let's see. How about if I go out with you once? Mm. More Discord messages. <clears throat> I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. I know you. Oh yeah, I know you. That uniform. Hey sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Reno, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. You heard the lady. The exit is back here. No, he's stomping on all the flowers. What an asshole. They were Mako eyes. Yeah, all right. Come on, y'all, let's get to work. <laughs> but, but boss, the flowers. Oh. Don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself. That was a huge jump. Holy shit. There they are. Over there. I, I used Barrett's voice for him for some reason for a second. Cloud. That one. I know. Looks like they aren't going to let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. Jump. Aerith, this way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient is getting away. Attack, attack, attack. Yeah! Aerith! Think we killed him? They never should have fought us. Cloud, help! Damn. What's that? Run. Oh, alright. Oh god, I'm stuck. I don't have time for this. I like this song. It's nice. Has a good, solid energy to it. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Use a barrel if I could just push it over. Well, push it then!
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do during this section, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that surprised me. I'm stuck on the barrel. I can't push it over. If I could just push it over, he says. I'm trying to push the barrel. Hold on a minute. Oh, push the barrel, yes. That was so weird. Thanks, Cloud. Aerith, this way. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Aerith is gonna be our big like magic party member, right? I know her strength isn't that good at all. <laughs> oh yeah, she's in the back. Oh yeah, here we go. Jesus, magic 21, spear 27. Let's equip her with, no, not status, equip. Titan bangle has two. So we could give her more Spells. Oh, we got the ice and the restore from Barret. Okay, that's nice. At the very least, let's give her restore and ice for now. Her thing, the thing on her Titan Bangle isn't like limited. Or it's not, that's the word, it's not linked. Not limited. Hello? H hello? A am I am I blind? Here we go. Aerith? <laughs> Aerith? Aerith? Oh my god, the church is so small. <sighs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. Hmm. The Turks are a Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were trying to kidnap me. They're also involved on a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Murder, you know, spying. They look like they fit the part. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. They must believe I have what it takes to be in soldier or something. Maybe you do. Do you want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to get caught by those people. Then let's go. Wait, wait up, I said. down <laughs> funny I thought you were cut out to be in soldier or something oh you're terrible hey cloud were you ever in soldier mm. I used to be how did you guess your eyes they have a strange glow to them that's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako a mark of soldier but how did you know about that? Oh, no reason. No reason. Right, no reason. Come on, let's go, bodyguard.
Oh, finally made it out. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry before they come back again. A save point! Hooray! I don't think I have to stop yet, though. No, not for a hot minute. We still got another 40 minutes to go. Whoa, whoa. But da na na na. Oh, it gets to attack a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, an Earth does a lot of damage. Camera? Hey guys. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who do you think you're talking to? It, it's me, Solid Snake. Ah, oh, what a drag. You wanna go to that store in Sector 6 again? I'd like to go past. Here's house is supposed to be through here. I guess it's to the north. Ba -ba -na -na -na. Oh no, they're mugging us. Get him, Aerith. Or Cloud can just destroy them. <laughs> that works too. I guess it's this way? That guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you ask him, he only answers uh or ah. <laughs> uh, ah, 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 ah. I don't care if it's scrap metal or material. We can get anything here in the slums. Got a lot of good stuff here. Why don't you look it over? Oh, hey. Nice. I kind of want to double up on the lightning magic and the fire magic. Sure, I'll, I'll get a nice one, too. So she is restore ice. Uh, let's also give her fire. What am I doing? I'm walking around looking at the ground, of course. You find a lot of things people drop when you look down. You never find them when you're looking upwards, right? I guess that's kind of true. Hmm, hmm. We only trade items for Gil here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh my god, tents are fucking expensive. I don't need one then. We'll be fine. Every President Shinra, so everything President Shinra says is a lie. You can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call him. You can bat it around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. So who do I believe in? Myself. Me. I never lie to myself. That's for sure. You have an upstairs. Oh. Glug, glug. Now no one will find it. Top drawer and the bottom one. And the hidden drawer between them. Huh? Five gill. Yeah, it's five gill, dude. Don't steal the kids' lunch money. That's fucked up. Taking care of yourself is the law of the slums, but to do that, first you need weapons, right? Oh, I can get another titan bangle or two. Hmm, let's get one for Cloud. Hmm. 
now we can use all magic. Hooray! Huh, you want weapons? That's too damn bad. I ain't going out weapons to sell you, and the reason is, the weapons store is over that way. <laughs> toot toot, next stop, Midgar. Midgar, any passengers getting off at Midgar should please ring. You know, Midgar's supposed to be sparkling, and springy, and sleeky. Oh yeah, someday I'm going there. Where the fuck is Aerith's house? This is so confusing. Doo doo. Ba -de -do -de -do -do. Oh, and this must be it. Oh shit. There's a materia in the flower garden. I want it. Da -na -na. There's two items in the flower garden. Received cover materia. Cover. Protects allies when attacked. Ooh. That might be very useful on Cloud, actually. Cover plus 20%. Okay. Yeah, if it's not guaranteed, that's going to be really helpful to receive Dether. Might be nice to slap that on someone like Tifa or Barrett, who's more like melee focused. No! Don't quit. I just want to save. Sometimes the stick doesn't, like, it goes uh, too far when you when you try to use it to navigate menus. I'm home, Mom. This is Cloud. He's my bodyguard. <laughs> bodyguard? You were followed again? Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? I'm all right. I had Cloud with me. Mm hmm. Thanks, Cloud. So, what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go back to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa another girl? Y yeah. A girlfriend. Girlfriend? No. <laughs> you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's... Nice. Let's see. Sector 7? I can show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm just used to it by now. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from another... From another girl. <laughs> Cloud, do you have something to say to the class? <laughs> I don't know. Getting help from a girl. A girl? What do you mean by that? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that to me? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a while. Uh, but dear... Oh, I give up. You never listen once you've made up your mind, do you? But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? It's getting late. Oh, yeah, you're right, Mom. Aerith, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, aren't you? Yeah, or at least I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but... Could you please leave without telling Aerith? the hell is that noise oh it's it's a spam phone call how do I leave again Ugh, soldier the last thing Aerith needs to right now is to get hurt again yeah but yep yeah, yeah but how do how do I exit the, the the house I'm just just wondering there, this appears to be a doorway, but it's it's blocking my exit, ma'am. Let's go talk to Aerith. Maybe she knows how to get out of her own house. You need to go to, through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector, sector 6 is a little dangerous. 
So you'd better get some rest tonight, okay? Cloud. Good night. Say good night back, you asshole. Oh man. All right, I actually think dinner is coming soon. So when I have my the next chance I have to save, I'm gonna. First, I'm taking another stretch break. Stretch break. Everybody, take a stretch break. <sighs> Stretch break. All right. I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh yeah. Ever since then. The fuck? My, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls never leave you alone, huh? Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations off in the city. It'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice lady. I'm all right. Uh, you should have an older girlfriend. Well, this is a weird scene. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7 past Sector 6. I should be okay by myself. There's an item! Oh? Cloud! I thought the Turks came back. Go get some rest. Okay, I cannot run. Can't get caught this time. There we go, two and a half hours. Or I guess in terms of game time, two hours exactly. <laughs> or two hours and nine minutes. Well. Oh, this has been very peaceful actually. <laughs> I think that this game is starting to grow on me. It's very odd. Every time I play it, I, I'm like, how do I phrase this? The first time I played it, I was like, ugh. Uh, this game is a huge pain in the ass. Nah. And then like the second time I played it, I was like, I mean, it's just not my thing. And then the third time I played it, I was like, it's pretty good, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be into it right now. And now I'm playing it for like this opening section for like the fourth time. And I'm like, what a lovely game. <laughs> what a lovely little game this is. I'm really starting to see why people like it so much. I'm just going to do another save because I always forget whether I saved before. And then I'll just go to my... I'll, you know what? I'll just leave the really peaceful music on for a bit. <sighs> well, this has been a nice stream. I'm sorry I started late. Uh, mostly it's because I slept in late. <laughs> but tomorrow... We're gonna stream some more. Maybe more of this, maybe more of Final Fantasy XIV. I'm just in a I'm just on a big Final Fantasy kick right now, so we're gonna play mostly this stuff. But thank you all for joining me. Um, and I hope you tune in next time for more Final Fantasy content. <laughs> more more hashtag Final Fantasy content. But in all seriousness. Thank you. I hope you all have a lovely evening. Go get some food or something. Take care of yourselves. Uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>